Some of my favorite scriptural stories are the prodigal son or the woman at the well or the story of the healing 10 lepers and only one comes back to say thank you. Even the story of the Last Supper. These are stories of grace, grace about acceptance and healing, forgiveness, belonging. These are stories of good news. If only the Bible were only stories of good news. There are some pretty iffy stories, if you will, stories about doom and gloom, stories about chopping down the fig tree and and having households be divided. Where's the good news in that? That's the question for us in this sermon series I've entitled The Silver Linings, and we're focusing specifically on the Gospel of Luke. I trust Luke. I love the Gospel of Luke. It's it's my favorite. It's unique stories and themes of welcoming the outsiders and tending to the poor and the way in which he tells the story in two parts. First, the work of God through Christ and then the work of the Holy Spirit through the church. I think in this day, especially with the news being so full of doom and gloom, the good news in the Gospel of Luke is something we might need to hear. So I hope you will join us in worship, either in person at 9 or 11 or through the live stream or on YouTube at the 9 o'clock hour. We could use some good news, and I trust the Gospel of Luke to give it to us. So I will join you in worship this Sunday. See you then.